in spring 2017, the Native American Student Alliance at San Diego State University submitted a resolution to Associated Students titled, Resolution to Retire the San Diego State University Mascot and Moniker. On April 10, 2017, the University Council with an Associated Student had a final meeting to deliberate the decision of NASA's resolution, with the final vote being 12 yes, 14 no, and 1 abstention. The submission of this resolution triggered a shockwave of reactions from the community on campus, regionally, and nationally. During the resolution process and post-resolution, the Native American students at SDSU faced the most backlash from the community. Today, we will be recollecting on those comments from various social media posts with connection to the SDSU Aztec mascot. Some of the Native students at SDSU will be reading and reacting to these comments. Okay, so my name is Jade. And I'm a sixth year uh, chemistry major at SDSU, graduating this year. And Hello everyone, I am Jessica Vicente. Um, I am from the Diné um, people. I am a currently a second year here at San Diego State. And so my name is Tyra. I am from Jemez and Laguna Pueblo. Um, I'm a first year aerospace engineering student here at SDSU. Um, We'll be reading some comments about the mascot. Perfect. So here is our first comment. Wow. How about the Native American Student Alliance? How about the Native American Student Alliance go fuck themselves? Go fucks themselves. Student Alliance go fuck themselves. Hashtag soft. Hashtag complete bullshit. Well, <laughs> fuck you too. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that, that's really mean. Okay. <laughs> All right. That hurts a lot because I feel like they're very insensitive. They just don't know anything completely off the rails. Um, this pretty much hurts because. It's aimed towards me, and it's aimed towards everyone else in the Native community beyond me, so. Alrighty, next comment. Ooh, let's see how juicy this one is. If you are so damn offended by it, why the hell did you come here? Pack it up and go to Berkeley, and all you can sit, and you can sit in their little safe spaces and hide from triggered words with the respect. The rest of the snowflake flakes up there grow up. Okay, so there you go again with the words. Snowflake. It's it's like, there's just so many things wrong with this, like, come on. And we are grown up. We're trying to educate you so that you can grow up. Okay, yeah, like, when you get into a school, like, when I got into SDSU, I didn't even know that the Aztec was the mascot. I just kind of, like, I was just happy I got into a school. And then to like tell us to go to Berkeley, it's like, okay, that's obviously not feasible. Like, we're not just gonna like go to Berkeley where they don't have this problem. And then- Because we want to come here for education. That's why we're here. I don't know. Honestly, I didn't, at first I really wasn't, I was super uneducated about the whole mascot thing. Like I looked past it, I was like, oh, whatever, it's an Aztec, like, yeah, whatever. But then like coming here, I like started learning more about it and it's just really offensive to me now. Here is the second to last one. <clears throat> the members of this club at SDC are not real Indians. They are liberals <laughs> from San Francisco and they hate all random white people. They are ashamed of all pictures of Indians. What? And are trying to exterminate all Indian culture. Um, they have no had a hard life and therefore have nothing else to do with their time. Don't waste your money sending your kids to this school or being in their native program. <sighs> this is just such a completely wrong comment. Nothing makes sense. I'm not from San Francisco. <laughs> Ex 
excuse you, I know my language, my skin is brown, so I am not ashamed of being that. I just am ashamed of all the misrepresentation. That is so, like, that is so ignorant. Like, we, we are Native American. <laughs> so it's like, and we're all fake Indians? I don't think so. I'm pretty, I'm pretty Native, I feel like. I feel like this person's telling me who I can and cannot be. They're taking away my Native identity and the other Native students identities. Um. Of course I would say that I'm not a real Indian because I'm not from India but I am indigenous and I love that about me. Yeah that's really that's ridiculous that's just kind of funny actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay and here is your final comment. Native American students that find our mascot offensive. Get back on your horse and ride back to the reservation you came from and stay there. Crawl, Crawl back into your teepees and drink some of that fire water that you love so much. We will come visit when you want to blow some money at the black jack tables. And if have some of that peyote you can share, then perhaps we can pack it up, pack it in your peace pipe and smoke it together. <laughs> First of all, all natives don't live in teepees <laughs> and fire water. Mm -hmm. And if you have some of that peyote you can share, excuse you, peyote is used for medicinal purposes and is used in prayer. It is not to be taken lightly and if it, you do that, if you make fun of it, then it will come back and bite you in the ass. And also like not every tribe has casinos and stuff, so that's really sweet. And this person's just using stereotypes to belittle us because they're trying to keep their mascot safe. It's so stupid. So educate yourself, boy, and just come back at me when you have a brain and maybe when you can have the balls to say it to my face. That's all I'm going to say and just, I'll leave it at that. So, with that, how did that all of those comments make you feel? It makes me feel very upset that they don't understand where we're coming from, and they just they're just being super ignorant. These people have like lack of curiosity, lack of empathy, lack of like. They can say it easily on the internet and all that, but like when it comes to it, I feel like they won't be able to say it to our faces. They'd be super ashamed of themselves. I hope they feel ashamed of themselves themselves right now. So the last question is, uh, like, how does it feel to be Native in modern times? I feel like it's a great time to be Native. I'm proud of it. When I think, when I read about how much our ancestors have gone through, I think like those of those that survived are really strong there had to be really strong it feels good like i am not gonna be ashamed of who i am i grew up this way i don't care who you are or what you say to me you're not gonna make me feel any less of a person and you're not gonna make me feel bad about myself just take your comments shove it up your ass if you're gonna say something bad and i'll do me you do you Hi everyone, uh, my name is Elaine Yazi. I'm currently a fourth year here at San Diego State and I'm Navajo from Northern Arizona on the Navajo Nation. Um, I'm involved with the Native community um, through a lot of aspects. I'm very passionate about my community and really serving and uplifting us together. With that, uh, this little film project came from my American Indian Studies uh, Media and Film class. I remember watching some of the Jimmy Kendall videos um, where like celebrities read mean tweets 
and I was a part of the mascot movement. Um, I was one of the co-collaborators um, with this um, resolution. Uh, so I distinctly remember reading a lot of the comments we saw today, and it was detrimental. It really was seeing them while we while we submitted the resolution, and in post resolution, all the backlash we got from the community, and. I thought it would be interesting because it's the third year anniversary of it um, and interesting to kind of revisit this dialogue and sort of see where we're at today as a community. I'm definitely happy to see the progression that we are striving towards um, in recent movements towards just representation in all aspects of media, film, photography, literature, uh, academia. Um, I call it this like indigenous renaissance. And, you know, it feels great. It feels very wholesome and it feels very empowering to know that things, many projects like these are like being seen and being heard and voices, indigenous voices are being heard. And I think it's something we need to continue to prioritize and center and something I'm going to continue being passionate and advocating for. So if you like this video, share, like, and subscribe. Just kidding. <laughs> Thank you so much.